Good morning everyone, hope you're doing well. <laughs> my face is kind of red at the moment, I've just realised that. I've just got out of the shower and it's really hot here. So my face is kind of red and washed my hair. Today is Tuesday and as you can tell I'm back home in my room. I got back home yesterday, I flew back home from London after Summer in the City weekend. If you didn't watch those vlogs, definitely do. I'll link a playlist where I've put them down below in the description so you can head over and watch them as it was an amazing weekend and such a good time. But I am back home now and this morning I've been up fairly early, I got up around 7, headed out about half 7 to go to the gym, ran down to the gym, then did like an hour work out of the gym and then walked back up home afterwards. Um, and then since I've basically come home and had my breakfast, just had a shower, washed my hair. Oh yeah, also now, when I got out the shower, it's so weird. I don't think you'll be able to see this too well on camera, but in the bathroom, oh my god, it's still so steamy in here, literally all along here, along the back and round here, there was just like water flooded everywhere, so I've put all these plugs up out of the way because they were like more or less in the puddle. I think it's starting to dry a bit now but I just don't know where all like this water's come from I don't know if like the shower when I had it up there was like angled slightly this way or something but I just don't know because it's never happened before so I'm just gonna let it dry and then just see if it happens again because I don't know if there's some kind of leak or something going on I don't know it wasn't like that before though and then it was after I got out of the shower so hopefully there's not some kind of leak in the bath or anything I'll just have to see if it happens again and then try and sort it out if not well get someone else to i wouldn't be able to sort it out but yeah i don't know what's going on with that i today my rest for the rest of the day i want to i'm thinking of having a wardrobe clear out i've been inspired to do so and i did try to do one recently but i really didn't get rid of much and i'm like you know what because i'm going to uni in september as well i'm going to be harsh on myself I'll say that now and then I'll end up getting rid of like two items. But in theory, I'm gonna be harsh on myself and really think, have I worn this over the last year? If the answer is no, then I'm gonna get rid of it. We will see, but I'm planning on then getting rid of it because I do have quite a lot of clothes and I hoard quite a lot of stuff as well. So I'm gonna try and do that this morning. And then I also want to get loads of photos printed from some in the city as well at some point today as I want to add them all to my scrapbook, make a nice little collage in there, so I want to do that today as well. And then also, I don't know when we're doing it, it's either next weekend or the one after, me and my mum are going to go do a boot fair to get rid of loads of my old junk and stuff as well. So that's why it's a good time to have a wardrobe clear out now. But we need to go book that and we need to actually go to like the main office um, at like the town hall to book that. And it's in like some village that's kind of a little bit further away, I don't know how long it takes to get there, I mean it's probably about 20 minutes to half an hour to get there I want to say, something like that, not too far away, but we need to go book that, which probably means that we're doing it next weekend then, so my mum's going to drive up to there today, I might go with her, depending on what I'm doing at that time, I might join her on that little trip out, and then, well, just like I say, something else I was going to do, I don't know, got both the puppies back now as well, well I mean they've been here the whole time, but I've been away, um, I got a nice greeting from them last night when I came home, so I'll probably walk them later as well with my parents. My dad's gone out this morning on some like wildlife trip thing, I don't know, he's gone to take some photos and stuff. And there was something else I was going to say, but I honestly can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, we also need to go to a food shop, so we'll probably do that as well at some point, which means I can get my photos printed hopefully at the point when we go to the shopping centre to do the food shop and then they can be printing while we're in the shop hopefully is what I'm going to try and do so right now I might either start on my wardrobe or start sorting out my photos I'll see hello little bales hello 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 hello, hello. where's Bob's hello Bob's hello Bob's hello <laughs> what are you doing between my legs? <laughs> What's your head doing there? <laughs> you up to you stretching? Good boy. Oh yeah, also, sorry, I've wiped my hair up in a bun out of the way because it's annoying me and it's just too hot to have it down. But, <laughs> Bailey's panting away over here too. I know, yeah. Yesterday, on my main channel, we hit 800 subscribers, which, honestly, that's just amazing like i can't believe that this time last year at summer in the city 
I remember I had about a hundred and something and now we've just reached over 800 and you guys have been so supportive especially after Storm in the City it's been amazing like honestly the support from the like YouTube community has just been incredible that's why I love events like Storm in the City because everyone just comes together and shows their support for each other and it's just amazing and yeah I can't actually believe that we've got over 800 subscribers now currently as I'm speaking we are on let me just check for sure, hang on, here we go. We are on 819 and I hit 800 yesterday. So honestly, if you're one of those people who have subscribed and you're already subscribed to my channel, thank you so, so much. Honestly, my ultimate goal and dream would be to one day hit 1K and I never thought I'd actually get there, but now it's looking more and more like a possibility. So if you haven't subscribed to my main channel, please do go check it out. And if you like my content, definitely do click that red subscribe button as it would mean so much to me. Also still got my YouTube nails going on. I got them red and white for summer in the city, but please do that and mean so, so much to me. And thank you to everyone who's already supported me over there and subscribed and everything like I've said. It's just honestly amazing. I can't get over the fact that we've hit 800 subscribers. Just thank you so much. Lapse there, Bubs. You just knocked the camera over. <laughs> I just had the camera right here where he's decided is the best place to sit. Thanks for that, mate. Always loved the idea of a wardrobe clear out, but then I open up my wardrobe and I'm like, where do I even start with this? And I've got things like multiple things on multiple hangers. No, not on multiple hangers. Multiple things on single hangers is what I meant to say. There's literally just so much stuff. I definitely need to get rid of some of this. only emptied out that tiny section and there's this huge pile of stuff already to go through. I think I'm gonna start with this and then get out the next lot. I mean so far to keep VS or what I'm getting rid of but at least there are some things so far and I mean that is just that tiny bit of my wardrobe so we are making some progress. So I'm actually getting organized and all the stuff that I've said that I want to keep I've put into like piles so I've got like vest tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, bodysuits, jumpsuits and then I've got that random like um what do you call it like pinafore denim dress type thing and yeah then I've just got a mound of hangers over here <laughs> go try hang this back up because as far as I got in my wardrobe that's now where like all the bottoms start so I've done all the top halves I'm gonna sort that out and put it back in because there's just no room for any other stuff out here right now literally even my floor's covered and then I've got left in here, I've got the bottoms, then like hoodies and jumpers and stuff, and then also some dresses at the end as well. So I'm now trying to figure out how on earth did all of this stuff <laughs> that I've still got here to put away fit into that tiny gap that I've now got in my wardrobe. And I've got rid of some stuff, like this just does not make any kind of sense. Managed to get it all back in just about, of course I've still got the other half of my wardrobe yet to sort out, but I've somehow ended up with a lot more hangers spare, which is weird because I haven't got rid of like that much stuff. But oh well, I'm going to resume sorting that out in a bit because it's now five past one and sorting out your wardrobe is tiring hungry work so I'm gonna go get myself some lunch now because I need some food. For my lunch I've just tried making something like a little bit different so we had some courgette so I made some like courgette with it using like this little handheld spiralizer thing that I have over here. I ordered this from Amazon. I can literally like spiralize any vegetables so far. I've tried squash and courgette with it which work quite well and then I've got what else have I got in here? Then I roasted some sweet potato and I've got some pine nuts in here too and then I made like a roasted red pepper sauce so I basically just roasted some red pepper blended it with some cashews and almond milk to make like a creamy red pepper sauce hopefully 
this will be tasty and all go together because I've not made like this exact kind of thing before. <laughs> and I'm back to sorting this out. Does anyone seriously need this many hoodies and jackets? Like, I've had some massive part. Although, as I am moving to Brighton in September for uni, this might come in use to be honest, all of these jackets. And also my mum just made a good point, as I am moving to uni in just over a... Yeah, in just over a month, what's the date today? The 14th, I wanna say? Or is it the 15th? What day is it today? Tuesday. It's confused me so much going away the weekend. <laughs> um, yeah, it's Tuesday the 14th and I'm moving on the 15th. So, yeah, in a month's time basically I'll be moving in there. So she said, why don't I just actually leave all my jackets out once I've sorted through them? Because I definitely won't be needing them here. It's boiling hot and by that point in September it definitely won't have cooled off that much. So I might as well just get them all out now, sort them out and then keep all the ones that I want to take with me out and put them in the suitcase because that like honestly with these jackets it's such a struggle getting them in and out of my wardrobe just because they're so bulky and there's so many of them well these are all the jumpers and jackets that i still want to keep and hoodies and stuff but i don't think i'm going to be able to like pack all of this literally like it's massive piles there of clothes to go to uni so i think i'm gonna have to rope my mum into like helping me decide which ones to leave here which ones to take with me and just sort it out a bit more because also the um uni wardrobe probably won't be that big so i'll probably like have to limit the stuff that i take with me anyway even if it's stuff that i want to keep i just can't take it all with me as such I'm definitely gonna have to leave some out here, but my mum's currently out. So once she gets back, I oh know once she gets back, we're gonna head straight to the supermarket. But after that, I think I'm gonna have to ask her to help me out because currently, later on, I won't be able to get into my bed with all that stuff on it. So it does need sorting out. Oh yeah, also I just thought I would show you quickly. I think I showed this a few days ago when I was travelling to London actually, but I've been reading this book by Lucy and Lydia at the moment, and I've actually got so close to the end and this is literally two plane journeys i just read it over this weekend on my way to london and then on the flight back yesterday but it shows that it's a pretty good book and considering i'm someone who really doesn't read that is really good going so definitely if you're looking for like a typical kind of teenage girl book nice easy read can recommend this one and then yesterday i also received my pre-order copy of wild about the girl which is louise's new book very excited to read this one because i love wild about me and it was such a great book so i'm excited to get into this one i'm gonna finish this one off though first but that shouldn't take me too long might carry on reading that at some point this afternoon i haven't got much to go so i'll either finish that today or tomorrow probably and then i can get started on this one and we're also thinking of having a beach day soon so this will probably make quite a good read for that it's honestly so hot out here right now literally like dying in the heat mm. i hadn't realized how hot it Got today i think especially after being in london over the weekend where i felt cold and needed a hoodie on coming back to this it seems even hotter now <laughs> got my mum and now to help me attack this pile of stuff <laughs> did you expect to see this much oh this has got a footprint on it i must have dropped that but yeah gonna try and get somewhere with this <laughs> Also got all my Summer in the City photos printed, which I'll show you properly either later or tomorrow whenever I end up doing my scrapbook. I managed to get those done while we were doing the food shop as well, so that's good. I'm happy I've got those sorted. Well, we've managed to cut out these, oh, but we've still got all of these things. Oh yeah, I've got a nice big new case that we bought. Oh, is it a bit <laughs> smelly? Mm, Probably it's kind of got that oh, it's that plasticky smell, plastic smell mm. that new kind of... Yeah, we might have to leave that open to de smell yeah. <laughs> for a bit. It is, isn't it? Well, we've sorted all this out, but the only issue is now I still have it all on my bed because of the case. We've left it to air as it smells like that new kind of plasticky smell. So I still can't get into my bedroom tonight currently. I don't know what we're going to do with all of this. I've just been making a pasta bake kind of thing for dinner, which is in there right now. Oh, it's looking good. It's like bubbling at the edges, but I think it's pretty much ready to come out. Sort of like a healthier pasta bake. I basically used like brown rice pasta and then made like a tomato sauce using uh, tin tomatoes with like basil, oregano, so salt and pepper and then like fresh basil as well, mix that with the pasta and then I added in some red pepper and courgette too and then for like the cheese sauce I sort of made like a version of 
Naomi Smart's mac and cheese sauce from Eat Smart and then layered that on top as well. So hopefully it should be tasting. It's looking like it's done now. It's already like half eight as well. So I am quite hungry for dinner. I'm gonna get this out now. Go see if mum's set the table already. So I'm just about to get myself all ready for bed. It's currently only 10 past 10, but I was up at half seven this morning and I'm feeling pretty sleepy. I should close my blind and i think that i'm gonna like get cozy in my pajamas get in bed and then carry on reading this book for a bit i probably won't finish it as i am kind of sleepy so i might only read like a chapter or two of it but i'll read a bit more of this and yeah i never got around to sorting out my summer in the city scrapbook pages today so I'll probably do that tomorrow because i don't really know what i've got planned for tomorrow i might do gym class tomorrow morning but that's it's like a later morning class it's at half 10 so it's not too early so i might go to that but besides that i don't really know what the plans are for tomorrow what day even is it? it's wednesday isn't it i'm so confused with today's at the moment honestly i've been like having to remind myself that it's tuesday today all day <laughs> i don't know why but yeah so I might finish reading that book tomorrow and then also sort out my scrapbook for Summer in the City which will be nice and I'll show you all the pictures and stuff if I do end up doing that tomorrow, which I probably will. As like I said, I don't know what else is planned. But I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Smash a big thumbs up if you did. Click the little red subscribe button down below if you're new and I will see you very soon with a brand new vlog. Bye.